Hi everyone, I have a quick unboxing from Aquarium Co-op. Stick right there so you can see what it is. Yes, I got something that I have been waiting on. I've kind of procrastinated and said, well, I'm a small fish breeder, fish hobbyist. And I, my hair's all in my face. <laughs> and the pollen's killing me. I thought, well, I'll just get one of these little tiny brine shrimp hatcheries. And I've gotten more and more and more and more fish and more and more babies. And so um, I'm running out of brine shrimp faster than I, uh, than I can, um, <sighs> that I need for my fish. So um, I need a bigger one, so that way I have more brine shrimp that goes a little longer. So I um, looked on Aquarium Co-op. They are a great company that this guy started all on his own through Facebook. He got, he's just a whiz at fish. So if you want to look up Aquarium Co-op on YouTube, I highly, highly recommend it for anyone that keeps fish because every question that you have can be answered. I'm making sure I don't have a, a tube of water going out from my beta barracks. It just looked funny from this angle. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I'm OCD. Squirrel. Anyways, so, yes, go to Aquarium Co-op on YouTube, watch all their videos. They're just wonderful videos. They're very informative, just about any kind of breed of fish, strain of fish that you have questions about and how to care for them properly, how to quarantine, how to use the three medicines for quarantine properly. So definitely, definitely hit that, that channel up. If you're a fish keeper or, or would like to be a fish keeper, Certainly, certainly go and watch them. That should be the number one, I mean, channel that you need to keep and watch. I'm going to open this up. No, I didn't have my scissors. I left them in there. In the, the uh, oh, I got a Murphy sticker. A Murphy sticker. Or is that Ladybird? That may be Ladybird. Sadly, his Ladybird passed away here recently. There we go. There's Ladybird. Or Murphy. I can't, I don't want, well, the Murphy one usually has the name on it, so I'm thinking that's, that may be Ladybird. But his Ladybird passed away recently. He loved, loves those fish, and Murphy has since passed away. Um, and they're the I can't remember the name of those, but they he feeds them uh, shell uh, oyster shells or clam shells, and you can literally hear that fish bite those and and get that meat out of there in its mouth with its teeth. So you have to go to Aquarium Co-op and look and look at all the back videos and things like that because you'll see those fish, <laughs> but they usually send you a, a sticker inside your order when you order from them and so um, uh, at one point I think they were uh, gonna stop because um, it was getting expensive for them to include stickers but I'm glad to see that they have kept them going um, you can buy the whole set if you'd like and ha have that and now here is make sure I don't have anything else in here is the brine shrimp hatchery that that they offer and you can see on the side all the things that comes with it let's see it's the Zis 2.0 liters two liters brine shrimp hatchery so you can make a lot of brine shrimp in this baby and I cannot wait to get this thing set up um, so 
I'm so glad that they, I was, when I went on there the first time and they were sold out, I was so bummed because I was ready to make the purchase. I had been procrastinating with my little hatchery um, and thought, well, I have other things that I need to buy from them that was uh, more important at the time. I didn't need that many brine shrimp, but um, now I do. So, uh, and when I went and it was sold out, I was so bummed, but I saw that they had an email section that you get uh, a little email, you put your email in there and tell them to let you know whenever that hatchery is available. So, and that's what happened. And as soon as I saw that it was back available, I run over there to their website and got it. And, and their shipping is very quick, quick. It was just a few days. And... Here is how it comes in the bag, I mean in the box, where you must have to put the uh, stand together in a way. There's the bottom of the stand. Okay. It's extension legs. So if you want them a little taller, I guess. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to open up this. There's the legs. And so, it must tell you on the outside. It don't have the instructions on the in, in, in a paper form. It's on the outside of the box right there. Here's the bottom. Now, I haven't put this together before. So, you know me when I'm doing an unboxing and I'm putting something together. It can really go awry sometimes because this brain, lupus head, you know. Um, so, they have an extension leg set. I don't know what, I don't know if it's these, I can't tell. I haven't got my glasses on, which is stupid, you know, but I get so excited about doing a video that I, I don't get everything prepared and I come in here and I start and I'm like, oh, I forgot my phone, I forgot my, you know, all that stuff. So these things must be an extension for the legs. Let's. There's two of those. So, does that, I wonder where that goes. I bet it's like that. Or something like that. I don't know. I will have to look at it a little better. Yep, that's what happens is it goes in that, that I think. It snaps in. I don't need them. I don't need the extended legs. I think I'm good without them. But it's good that they have that there. Some people want them up on up higher because when they drain the uh, when they go in the bottom of this, there's going to be a drain where you drain the the brine shrimp out of the unit. So we have this is where your air stone is going to go inside here. The air stone helps move those eggs around, which is extremely important for you to do when you're hatching brine shrimp and it looks just like a uh, blender <laughs> but it's not and you can see at the bottom here you can see the little thing here that's going to help you drain or however this goes so um it goes in there let's see if i've got it in the right if it just sits or if it's I think that's it just sits in there so you can actually take it out easy and inside this I didn't bring my scissors I left them in there where I was letting out the little fry from the order you know me I gotta drop it I gotta drop something if y'all have watched me long enough you know I drop stuff all the time it, and it's a wonder it's a wonder I'm able to get through life okay so, this is the little poppet that you're going to use to feed the fish. Um, there's a thermometer. A thermometer comes in with it. Look at there. A thermometer that the you can keep the... The heat or the you know how it 
whatever. The other one I have, I don't have that on there. I don't have a thermometer on it. And um, you have the valves. You have a valve. You can see that valve. And the other little valve thingy, wherever it goes, probably on the bottom. And here is the Zis Cleanable Air Diffuser. So the air diffuser is going to go, let's see. So it has a place where you can buy a heater that will go down in this. And I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to get one. Um, I'll get a heater, but I don't have one right now. So that's what goes down in this. It holds the heater in. Okay. There's the airline. This is the airline. And the thermometer goes in here. So I will wait to put the thermometer on it, but it goes down in this little hole here. The little thermometer, and it comes in its own little holder. I mean, the thermometer goes down in there. And it's supposed to stay, but. If I let go, it would fall in there. So I'm going to have to see how that stays. It may be this little red thing here that's on this. Let's see if that's what it is for. Let's put this. Yep, the thermometer is for the O-ring. I mean, the O-ring is for the thermometer. So you put the little O-ring on here. Okay, so that way it won't drop through. Is it there? It's in there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put that on. And then this is going to go on here. Okay, so what I did is I turned it upward like that, and I'm putting it in there like this. Righty tighty, lefty loose. Hey. Okay, I'll put it on there tight, not too tight, but tight. All right, so now I'm going to put this on the end of this rigid tube. Here we go. This is the thing that is going to go on this rigid tube. And I'm going to put it in on there like that. Slide it on. There we go. And let's see, where does the rigid tube go? I guess it goes on this. Underneath, you can see there's a little prong, just like what was on the end of this. This is going to go on that. Okay? So I'm going to take my thermometer out so it doesn't, I don't drop it and break it because it is glass. Um, and put it on there like so. You see how I've got it on there? And for some reason, it's wanting to. I probably need to go all the way. Because it's bending at the bottom. Okay, I must be just going to bend. Okay? Because it's, it's just the way it's going to be. Um, yeah, it looks like it bends in the picture. All right. So we'll put the thermometer back in. What I have to do is I will be putting a line. So this is the little pipette that, that you're going to feed with once you take them out. Um, on the bottom here, there is a line where my hose is going to go. 
into my net, my, my brine shrimp catching net that will separate the brine shrimp from the bad water and then I can put them in the container that I use for keeping my brine shrimp while I'm feeding my fish. And I like to rinse them um, and everything as well and get fresh water into them. They seem to last a little longer. I keep them in the refrigerator between feedings. Um, and you can freeze them too. You can get little teeny tiny uh, trays or find something that has little teeny tiny areas in it like, um, uh, you know, to, to make little brown shrimp ice cubes, if you, you know what I'm talking about. You can get little teeny tiny ice trays um, if you want to do that. And you, that way you can just plop one in and it, as it dissolves, they eat it. You can do that, and that will also be good for if you go on vacation, you can tell someone to come and feed. I wouldn't have them feed your fish every day. Um, have it separated into little portions and have the day rope on them if you have a Ziploc bag or what like, thing like that if you want them to feed them every day. But I would feed them, I, I go to the beach in a, uh, for a week at a time sometimes. so. I would have someone come in the middle of that. The fish can actually go, betas can go five, six days without eating. But um, fish can, can fast um, for a couple days and that way whoever's feeding your fish isn't overfeeding. A lot of times people come home where something's accidentally dumped all the fish food in there. Sometimes teenagers don't want to have to do it, but they do it because they're told to and they put all the, I've seen some that have put all the food in there and then didn't come back and the people come back and all their fish are dead. And it's a lot of money invested in your fish for someone to just throw a bunch of it in there. I'm not going to say that your person will do that. I'm just saying get everything sectioned out and skip a day. Um, or two. They can go two days with a fast and then fe feed, a light feed, and then when you get back you can feed them. And they don't have to be just chubby chubs, you know, all the time. It won't hurt them at all. So anyways, this is going to be a go-to wonderful thing for me because I need more than what my other little uh, hatchery will provide. So I'm going to keep my other little hatchery. It's running fine and I may stagger them. It just depends on how long I'm going to, uh, how long this amount will go. I may not have to run two hatcheries at the same time. So anyways, I'm excited. I'll get my heater to put in there. You'll get more hatched if you have a heater in here. So this other one, I don't have a heater. I use warm water you know, to uh, get get that one started. So, um, anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing the difference between the two. Thank you so much for this for watching this unboxing of um, uh, Aquarium Co-op's brine shrimp hatchery with stand. It is on sale at this moment. Now it may change by the time you see this video, but anyways, on their website, go get you one. If you have baby fish and you're raising fish, you need a brine shrimp hatchery. This is wonderful. Thank you so much for Aquarium Co-op for everything they do and helping each and every one of us fish keepers, hobbyists, be able to keep our, our fish healthy. Thank you so much. And each and every one of you, God bless you and have a good day.